Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you're watching All in Wrestling, the premier YouTube channel that focuses on SmackDown, Raw, NXT 205, and many more. Alright, so here's how I'm gonna do this. Because I got a lot to talk about for Raw, like, like yeah, not yesterday, but Monday. First thing I'm gonna talk about was the Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman promo segment. Because, you know, it was a good promo segment, but Paul Heyman came out, Brock came out, but he didn't say nothing. He held up the title like a meathead, didn't say nothing. And then Seth came out and said, I, I don't care if it's impossible. It's, it's improbable, but not impossible. I'm going to beat you for the title. And funny thing, they got into it pretty quick. It, it was a brawl. It was a good brawl. Like, Brock actually, like, he did, like, I think he did maybe three or four suplexes. And then he tried to F5 them. But what happened was Seth gave him a low blow. He gave him, like, two low blows, and he curb stomped him. And the way I liked it, like, he did a quick curb stomp and took the title and threw it on the ground and went to the ring. And then after that, it was a Braun Strowman match against these two local competitors, calling them Colin Jost and Michael Che, because he doesn't like um He really doesn't like them because seeing it, uh, SNL did something stupid the last, I think, a week before WrestleMania, or the last Monday before, like, two weeks before, like, three weeks ago, and they've been kind of, the, he's been kind of on thin ice with, he's, um, SNL's been on thin ice with Braun Strowman. So he beat the crap out of him. I felt bad for him, though. But, the other thing I'm going to talk, but the other thing I want to talk about, right, which kind of irks me a little bit, but I'm not going to rant on this. I'm just going to hit it with this. Okay, you guys heard the whole Stephanie McMahon rant, um, the whole winner-takes-all thing, right? So, if Becky went, I mean, if Becky, Charlotte, or Ronda wins, that means she's going to, she's probably going to go to SmackDown because they still got to have a, they got to have a women's championship, and that's going to kill the women's division really quick. It's going to kill it. And I don't know what Stephanie McMahon is doing. That's just the dumbest thing I would do. Which I don't even. I why would you make it a winner take a winner take all thing? But Ronda Ronda was ready. Ronda was ready to fight. And after that tag match, because it was an amazing tag match. But Ronda like funny thing is Becky got Ronda, Charlotte got Becky, and Ronda got Charlotte. So. So back, so what happened was Rhonda did a um she did an arm she did an arm bar she was like listen she had that evil she had that she was pissed she just like almost broke her arm and they got the cops involved to arrest them I'm like yo it was a fight it wasn't just a, it wasn't it this wasn't a statement this is they want to get all that anger out all that hostility out as soon as wrestling because WrestleMania is this Sunday and then. The one thing that kind of sticks me a little bit, though, because there's a lot of things that stuck me, was the Finn Balor thing. But the Finn Balor thing with the whole, you know, the Intercontinental title. Like I said, it's hilarious. It's hilariously funny. It's hilariously funny. Like I'm not even. I'm not even mad, but it's funny. Like it, it's hilariously funny, because it was like. It wasn't the fact that the unit, like the Intercontinental, is gonna is gonna have a title match. But I like the fact that, I did like the um. I did like the Rey Mysterio against Baron Cor like the promo that he wanted. And he wants him against um. He won him at WrestleMania. And that was tight, and he came in and he beat him up. But like I said, guys, the one thing I kind of, the one thing I kind of don't like, and I'm kind of being honest with you guys, is like, and I guess because like I'm so I saw Raw and I've been seeing a lot of stuff that's been happening, but I just I just don't see it because. To have a you like an undis like we're actually having an undisputed women's champion for the first time ever, and that's the that is the strangest part. 
And usually we don't have that because we usually have an undisputed champion, which is going to end up happening if, Seth, if Kofi and Seth meet. Because if he wins the Universal title, that means the New Day will go to Raw. But I don't know how that's going to play out, really, because there's a lot of things in there. And I like the fact that they're doing it. So, like I said... Like I had this, and I, I had this idea years ago, that the universal, the women's title was gonna be, it was gonna be an undisputed women's champion, and I think if Becky meets Oscar, that's gonna really kind of, that's a dream match. That's that's a dream match waiting to happen actually, because I want that match. I want it more than Becky actually. And that's the thing, and they don't really, they don't really talk about it. They don't really show what it could be. Or what it is, really. Because the joke is, right? We could, they could make money, they could put all this idea together, but in reality, they kind of can't. My problem, like I said, and people are going to tell me this. But like I said, guys. That's pretty much all I'm going to talk about for the Raw. Like, I do have a couple. I'm going to do... I got two more segments to cover. And then I'm going to... And then you guys can make a decision from that. I got two more things to cover. The second... The third... The, the second to the final thing I'm going to cover is the... um. I'm also going to cover the tag team title situation. Because two things are going to happen. With Raw tag team division. Either... And I'm not saying this like I think it's going to happen on WrestleMania. I think either Road Game we're going to get the tag, a tag team title shot, the B team. But I think they already did because they did a qual. They did, they did do a, like a fatal four way for it. So it did happen. So that was a good match. And then, and then an Intercontinental title matchup was good. But Finn was facing, I think it was Bobby, Leo, and Jinder. Which I think Jinder could be a good um, Intercontinental title. Older, but I just never, I just never really seen him do it. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe to this video. Peace.